reaction won't be accepted. Uh, we want somehow respect also those who are watching the match, the three millions who will attend uh, the matches live here in Doha and also the billions who will watch the matches on television. So we will uh, we have already recommended our referees, and this is something not new because we did already something exactly uh, the same in, uh, in Russia four years ago. So we recommended our referees to be very accurate uh, in uh, calculating the time to be added at the end of each half to compensate the time lost due to a specific kind of, uh, of incident. Uh, what we want to avoid is to have a match lasting 42, 43, 44, 45 minutes of active play. This is not uh, acceptable. So, I repeat, uh, whenever there will be an incident uh, like uh, uh, an injury treatment, uh, a substitution slot, uh, a penalty kick, a red card, a celebration of a goal, I want to underline celebration of the goal because it's not it's normal. It's a, it's a moment of joy for one team, uh, for the other maybe maybe not. But uh, uh, a celebration may last one one and a half minute. So imagine in a half uh, there are two three goals scored. So it's easy to lose uh, three four five minutes only for goal celebration. This time has to be considered and compensated at at the end. Uh, and of course, uh, in addition to this, uh, the time lost uh, uh, due to the VAR intervention. I repeat, it's nothing new. Uh, those who were at the press conference we had before the start of the World Cup in Russia four years ago certainly remember that we already said exactly the same. And during matches in Russia, it became uh, quite normal to have uh, the fourth official showing the electronic board with uh, seven, eight, nine minutes on, on it. I repeat, the purpose is to offer more show to those who are watching uh, the, the, the World Cup. Um, as you certainly know, uh, this year we had no changes in the laws of the game, so there was, uh, there is nothing new, uh, but one Clarification, which was uh, given by IFAB in uh, July this year, concerning uh, what has to be considered as deliberate play, playing related to low level to offside. Um, it was already uh, well explained why this clarification was uh, was felt as needed. Um, you certainly remember a goal score during the UEFA Nations League uh, final, Spain France, goal scored by French player Mbappé. At that time, the interpretation of the Liberty play was uh, a movement towards the ball. Whenever a defender moved toward, towards the ball and then played or touched it, it was considered as deliberately playing the ball. And for this reason, the Mbappe goal was considered as valid in that, in that match. Um, after an opinion exchange with uh, football stakeholders uh, and also within the different uh, IFA panel, it was felt uh, that uh, this interpretation, which was very, uh, let's say, simple, because uh, uh, it was a movement uh, to be assessed, uh, assessing a movement is something very easy to be done, but it was uh, felt uh, as a bit uh, unfair towards a defender who many times uh, doesn't want deliberately to play the ball, but made uh, an attempt, uh, an effort, uh, simply to cut a pass uh, in the direction of an opponent. For this reason, we try to, to, to offer a more uh, suitable interpretation, an interpretation that respects more the spirit of, of football and uh, we 
are now considering as uh, crucial, critical to the deliberately played ball, uh, the control of the ball. So a player is able to deliberately play the ball if he has the control or if he has the likelihood of the control of the ball. Uh, we have some example, if you don't mind, I would like to, to show them very, very quickly. Uh, the first one is very basic, this is a clearly a deliberate play. Uh, the player is in full control of the ball, he wants to pass it back to the goalkeeper by, by chest and uh, of course this is a deliberate play. The second one means uh, or shows that uh, the player, the defender has the full uh, view, the full control of the view on the trajectory, the ball is rolling on the ground so it's, uh, it's easy for him to, to get the control of the ball and uh, failing in doing this uh, it's only because of his mistake so it cannot be this cannot be a reason to consider the, the, the player as not deliberately playing the ball. So, the third example is this one. Again, the player has full control of the trajectory, although the trajectory is not on the ground, it's coming from, from high, but uh, uh, he has control of the body, of his movement, so certainly also this one has to be considered as deliberately playing the ball. Although he failed in clearing, in clearing the ball. Jangan lupa subscribe ya.
Jangan lupa subscribe ya.